Okay, kiddos, pretty simple demonstration today. We're gonna boil water in a paper cup. So I have my paper cup here, and we'll just fill this up with water. I'm gonna talk about heat of vaporization today. And of course, heat of vaporization is the quantity of heat required to boil um, a certain amount of a substance at its boiling point. Usually that heat is measured in kilojoules per mole. So it's the amount of heat required to boil one mole of a compound at its boiling point. In this case, we're going to be using water. So I'll set my cup of water in our ring clamp here. We'll turn on the gas and we'll light our Bunsen burner. And while that's heating, we'll talk a little bit about this graph back here. You can see that but I started with ice at negative 20. My y-axis is temperature and my x-axis is the time in minutes that I'm applying this heat. As I add heat to the ice, of course, the temperature is going to rise to no one's surprise. Yet when it reaches zero degrees Celsius, even though I add heat, the temperature remains constant. We're going through a phase change. When you go through a phase change, the temperature does not change. Now, at this particular point right here, the temperature begins to rise, so the phase change is complete. So you can see that as I continue to add heat, my temperature rises again, and I flatline a second time right here. And this is the portion of the graph that we're interested in today. This is the heat required to vaporize or to boil that water. So you'll notice the temperature stays constant. The reason for that is because when water boils, what type of particles leave the water? That's correct. The particles that leave are the particles with the highest energy. They are gone. Which ones are left behind? That's right, the ones with the lower energy. So the low energy molecules stay behind. The high energy molecules are gone. They've evaporated. We're leaving behind the low energy. So we continue to add heat. The temperature does not change. Temperature does not change. And at this point right here on the graph, you can see that the temperature does begin to rise again. So we know our phase change is complete. All of the water has gone from the liquid phase to the gaseous phase. The phase change is complete, the temperature can begin to rise again. So let's take a look at my cup. We'll take a look down inside the cup and we'll be able to see that the water is boiling. Uh, part of the cup is burnt, uh, the part that's not in contact with the water, but the rest of it cannot get higher than that 100 degrees Celsius. So let's take a look, see what we have. And you can see water boiling in a paper cup. There you have it. Thank you.